Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. In the description of this video, you can find my compiled link. Through there, you can find ways to support the channel, my other social media, and more. I hope you enjoy this video, and thank you for watching. How's it going, everybody? CJ here, back with another video. We're doing a box opening today. We're opening a box of Brothers War Collector Boosters. Hoping to get a serialized numbered card. We'll see what we pull. Hopefully we get some good stuff. I haven't looked much into the pricing of this set yet, so I'm a little behind on it. So we'll see. We'll see what we pull and hopefully I can tell if something's good or not. <laughs> I know that we're, there's Transformer cards in this set, which are pretty cool too, so we'll see. Hopefully we can get some cool Transformer cards as well. Um, okay. This is not wanting to open. Wow! <laughs> there we go, okay. Let's see how many Mythics we can pull. All right, the commons and the uncommons. We got the foil land. That's got a big roller mark on it. That kind of sucks. A Thran spider. Oh, we got our first mythic in the trenches. As a target non-land permanent you don't control until it leaves the battlefield. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna put the mythics in the middle. Kayla's Music Box. Look at the top card of your library, then exile it face down, tap it until in the turn you play cards, exile, you own exiled with it. That's pretty cool. It's a cool card. Sigil of Valor. I know that's not great. <laughs> Jalum Tome. Lodestone Golem. Ooh, Foil Sound Wave. That's pretty cool. Then we got Thanos. Whenever you cast a beast or bird creature spell, you may copy it. Love that. Very cool card. All right, next pack. All right, so two mythics in pack one, not too shabby. Some pretty mediocre, if not bad, old border cards. Hopefully we get some better old border cards. I'm just gonna kind of, the pile is gonna be kind of weird. Nothing's gonna make sense. All right, pack two. We got a planes, no roller mark on this one. One with the multiverse, Mythic. You may look at the top card of your library at any time. You may play lands and cast spells from the top of your library. Once during each of your turns, you may cast a spell from your hand or the top of your library without paying its mana cost. That's pretty cool. It's like an omniscient in a future site had a baby. Pretty cool. Diabolic Intent, I know that's a good one. That's a big hit. Along with a Glint Raker. Don't know this card. <laughs> the number of artifacts you control. Whenever mana value among artifacts you control. This coming damage to a player. You may reveal a card from the top of your library. Put next. Okay. Okay. Ooh. We got a foil sketch Mishra's Bobble. Or schematic. A foil schematic Mishra's Bobble. And a millstone and a sculpting steel. We got Ultra Magnus in the shattered uh, shattered alt art form I, shattered glass form I think is what it's called I don't remember very cool though first time seeing one of the shattered glass cards in person and then we have a foil adaptive automaton alright the ultra magnus is pretty cool diabolic intent definitely good card in that pack one of the best cards in that uh, one of the best cards in the main set. That card's fantastic. You can always use more of those. Alright, and get past the commons and the uncommons. We got a nice island. We got a foil brush land. Never gonna be mad about some rare lands. Soul Partition. This card's pretty cool. The Archaeomandarite. RK Mandrit. Mandrite. Some human advisor. A spring leaf drum, full border foil. With a liquid metal coating and a key to the city. Optimus Prime. So every pack's gonna have a uh whatever it's called, transformer card it looks like. 
and a foil door to nothingness. All right, man, that the foil uh, artifact old border cards in the back is kind of annoying. I want to get some of the new cards in the set, not just a bunch of these extra foils. Looks like this has moved a little bit. I'm gonna do. Okay, hopefully that made it a little better. We got a forest. Transmogrant's Crown. Tyrant of Kerr Ed, uh, Ridges. And an Artificer's Dragon, double dragon pack. Liquid Metal Coating Foil. Self Assembler. And Sword of the Meek. That's pretty cool. I like Sword of the Meek. We got Ratchet. And a Full Art Foil Blast Zone. Not a card I was hoping for. Alright, we are getting close to the halfway point on this box. And so far, it seems pretty mid. We haven't gotten much for value, I don't think. No schematic card yet. No schematic. Hopefully we pull... Or, uh, not serialized. Hopefully we pull one. So that would be super cool. We got a mountain. Liberator versus Battlethopter. Sweet. Perennial Behemoth. You may pay lands from your graveyard and it's got Unearth. That's a pretty cool card. With a Hexavis. Interesting. We got a Burnished Heart. Springleaf Drum. Mesmeric Orb. I do love Mesmeric Orb. And that actually is a Mythic. Another Soundwave. And a Foil Gilded Lotus Schematic. I just want to quickly double check. I don't think that we... I, I would have noticed if we had a serialized card, I would assume. So, the, yeah, no way. No way. Okay. I just wanted to double check to make sure I didn't miss something. Because that would have been a huge bummer if I missed that. Alright. Through all of these, we got a plane. This is also the halfway point in the box. Fortified Beachhead, Stone Brain, Rescue Retriever, it's a cute dog, Elsewhere Flask, Soul Guide Lantern, Black Blade Reforged, Foil Prowl, and a Chromatic Lantern. Oh, sorry about the notification. I'm going to make sure that doesn't happen again by putting my phone on silent because I am recording this on my phone. All right, we're over halfway and we got a lot of mythics, but most of them are transformer cards. Oh, some of these packs are just impossible to open. I don't know why. Oh my God. Maybe if I open it from the bottom, it'll open easier. Oh. <laughs> This is, this pack is, there better be something good in this pack that's making me put in all this extra work. Okay, I am actually just going to cut this pack open because this pack is being impossible. There we go. There we go. Almost. Oh my god. <laughs> ah! Sorry, I hit the camera. No, this pack was impossible to open. Okay, that seems fine. Hopefully we get something good in here because this pack took so much work. Swamp, Phyrexian Dragon Engine, which has a backside of part of Mishra. Pretty cool. Hercules Final Meditation, Scholar of New Horizons. Ornithopter, Burnished Heart, and Unwinding Clock. That's solid. We got Starscream, and a Siege Veteran. Yeah, this is, this has been a tough box so far. Not good. A, just one serialized card, please. Just give me one, just give me one. 
Doesn't need to be a good one, just any one. Just make it number 69, that'd be cool. Mountain. The Stasis Coffin. Full Art Brushland. Some Dude's Devastation. Looks like it's not focusing properly. There we go, that looks a little better. Chromatic Star. Ivory Tower. Journeyer's Kite. Another Prowl. And, oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. okay. Uh, that's the pull of the box. Uh, we got Gix Extended Art Foil. Wow. That is pretty. Definitely the hit of the box. That is a really, really good hit. Okay. So. Wow. Very happy about that pack. Let's see if we can continue that momentum. Get some, get some more good stuff. We got an island. Visions of Phyrexia. Teething Wormlet. Sardari Sardian Avenger. Iker Wellspring. Chromatic Star. Quiet as Spike. Ooh! Alright, we got another Shattered Glass. Uh, Cyclo Cy Cyclonus. Cyclonus. And a Journeyer's Kite. That's so bad. So we got another Shattered Glass, which is pretty cool. Alright, we have three packs left. Can we continue with some good stuff? Or are we going to get shafted the rest of the way? Uh, some Mind Breaker. Fateful Handoff. Scavenged Brawler. Prismatic Talisman, that's not great. Boots. Precursor Golem. Foil Starscream. And a Semblance Anvil. Two packs left. We've gotten a l very few extended arts. We've gotten mostly foil artifacts in the back slot, which is kind of annoying, especially because they're not uh, serialized. We got a Plains, Perennial Behemoth. Ooh, uh, Surge Engine. That's sweet. Good card there. Anamishra, also sweet. Foil Swiftfoot Boots, not too shabby there. The schematic version too. Like your Wellspring and a Cage Sun. Love that. That's another mythic. Ultra Magnus and Ooh, Foil Mystic Forge. Alright, that was schematic. That was a really good pack. I don't know exactly how good it was for value, but like overall that was a really good pack. We had four mythics. Five mythics in that pack, along with the schematic foil Swiftfoot boots. That's that's a good pack right there. All right, and we're on to our last pack. Let's see if we can get a serialized card in this last pack. Something good, please. Island. A great worm. This is a mythic. Whenever a land enters the battlefield, create a tapped power stone token. Got Gwenna. Woodcaller Automaton. A foil millstone. Bone saw. Inspiring statuary. Schematic. We have a slicer and a foil extended art fortified beachfront. All right, so. I'm going to count up all of our mythics here. Let's see what we have for... I'm going to separate the Transformers first. Because those add a bunch of extra mythics to this. Alright, so regular mythics. We got... One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, 
and nine. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. And then this should be like, what, 12 of these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Yes. So that's a total of 21 Mythics. That's a lot of Mythics. I think this was a pretty good box, at, uh, all in all. I think that we did pretty well, especially towards the end. I do think that the Gix is probably our heaviest hitter. I think this is a really, really good pull. But I'll be looking at the prices later. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Peace out, everybody.